Hello, John. Hi. Uh, I'm Benjamin, it's Gary. We are game developers. And some years ago, we developed a little game during our free time, um, which has been paused for uh, some years because we had poor jobs and work. And we decided, like two months ago, to put it back <laughs> on the scene uh, and to open source it. Um, so that's a, an opportunity for us to, to present it to you. And, um, and specifically to speak about the game, which is uh, um, the base of code we use for our game engine. Uh, so, this is a little presentation of our game. It's a 2D arcade game. Maybe you can launch the video. That's illustrated. So, it's a two versus two robots um, who play a game like football. So, basically, there's some arena with uh, like lasers or things like this. And you have about two or three minutes to beat your opponent. Um, it's a very simple ar arcade game with uh, dual stick controls and gamepad, and it's meant to be played in multiplayer, even if there is an IA. And the best way to present it is maybe to have a little game so you can see it in live. Uh, we need people? Or? Yeah, maybe it's four player games, so if two. If we can have three players, three people to come. Yeah. I'll play it, no way but you guys should come play. I've already anyway, played it. Anyway, just one minute. Can I come? That's the SFX, I think. It's over. So, anyone? Right. Yes, the third one. Tu as planté go. Je sais pas si tu as planté ou si je l'ai éteint avec la manette. Il y a trop de fenêtres. Je ne sais pas très bien ce qui concerne. C'est pas grave. Je vais jouer avec toi sur le computer. C'est Things, je crois. Oui, plutôt SFX. Yeah, so the controls have um, left and stick and these two buttons. Okay. So you move with this, with this one and you can shoot with this All right. uh, and pass with this one. All right. And if you don't have um, the ball, you can dash on your opponent with this one. Okay. So just... Sorry. Good. This one is shoot. Oh, yes. So you can press start. Join. What is that? Uh, there. And you can shoot a team with a... Uh... Alright. We can have more playing later if you want. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, 
Okay, so the main idea is to um, speak a little bit on how we made this game. And the point is, everything we use, almost everything is, we use is open source. And we could develop the game entirely on a Linux platform and also on a Windows platform because I'm a Linux user, is more Windows user. And we could collaborate both in the development of the game. Um, we'll talk, Gawis will talk a little bit later of the um, technical blocks we use for the engine. So Mono Game and C Sharp and Mono, the free open source implementation. Um, for the assets, graphics, uh, you, you just saw, we mainly use Blender, even it, it's in 2D top view. We render it, uh, we made it the arenas in 3D and render it in 2D on several layers to after change the colors and, and some settings too. And the other graphics like more um, uh, 2D sprite art were, were made in GIMP. We do also Audacity to edit some sound effects and music was done with a Windows tool uh, sequencer, which is Reaper, because at back in the time, like four years ago, uh, Ardor was not as good as today and was garden neither. So, but it worked really, really well with with Wine, and uh, yes, it's pretty cool to not be stuck and just uh, stuck in wanted to use only open source, open source solutions when you can finally go further and use proprietary softwares when needed. Uh, next slide. I will also speak about more than development of the game and how you can make an open a game with open source tools and also publish a game if you want uh, an open source game and uh, you can use uh, the way you you will use it if you um, uh, if you do a traditional any game like you can publish your build on steam if you want to go to the mainstream solution and keep it open source too on your own github just maybe take care of the license if you use uh, if you use code or art in Creative Commons, for example, just take care there is no restriction on commercial uses. Uh, you can also use like more indie like platform like uh, itch.io mm -hmm. that actually use a game is we just publish a game on it. Or maybe a humble bundle which has DRM free options. Or it's less common, but uh, open source specific distribution like from a games, for example, of a, a store like web page with many open source games. Um, if you need to monetize your game, even if it's open source, you still can with a traditional donation uh, button or with a Kickstarter or or something like this, if you need to raise funds to implement new features, or even to just make the build pay like in the store and keep the source free if someone wants to compile it uh, by himself. Uh, okay, so now we will speak um, of the reason on why we open source the game, because it was not uh, at the beginning something we just thought about. It came after uh, some reflection we had, because at the beginning Mono Games was a free, um, an open source port of XNA, so the Microsoft um, frameworks and tools to, to build game for Xbox and Xbox Live. So. And um, it got open source ed, and I was used to work with open source tools in Linux, so it was 
finally correct logic that the game itself just come open source too and um, we know the game is not quite finished and we could add many more features but we do not have time and we have another project to work on so we feel that the community could also if they want and like it to implement new things um, yeah pedagogy because um, we and especially Gary wrote um, a game engine built on mono games and there is no not so many uh, 3D game engine uh, multi-platform uh, available so could be cool to people to just dig in it in the source code if they want and finally because we wanted to have a voice to like manifest and promote the uh, okay. more transparency and more open mind in open mind um, way to develop to things about thing and just to yes tell people that sharing it's a benefit for everyone in society so that's why yeah. Yeah. so I will um, give the microphone to Gary to speak about the uh, game engine The game is made with uh, MonoGame, with, which is an um, open source project, which was, um, uh, the goal was to replace uh, XNA, which was made by Microsoft uh, 10 years ago. Um, it's a C-sharp uh, game development frame framework that uh, in the beginning was for Windows and um, Xbox 360. Um, it is one of the um, platforms that uh, kickstarted the uh, independent game, I think, uh, because it was before Unity, and it was at the time uh, when the games like uh, Braid, um, Castle Crusher, things like this, uh, started emerging. Um, so Mono Game uh, use uh, Mono uh, to uh, run uh, C Sharp on um, any platforms. Uh, so we have a, a quick list of uh, platforms you can uh, use and uh, some games we have used uh, Mono Game. Um, so why Mono Game? Um, XNI is a really, really good uh, foundation. Um, it's a really a basic layer. It's not a game engine. Uh, so it takes care of every complicated stuff like uh, DirectX calls. Um, sound, um, every low-level programming is taken care of. So we're free to build on that. And uh, because XNA is quite old for game, de game development time, uh, it has a lot of history and a good community. And um, many uh, libraries have been uh, created for or adapted for XNA and Mono Games. Uh, we, there is a few game engines, uh, libraries for anything you can pick up, uh, physics, uh, asset loading, uh, sound, uh, input. And because it's uh, C Sharp, uh, it shares um, many uh, projects with Unity. Um, and uh, many uh, assets that, that, that were built for Unity have been ported or, or in some way or another to uh, MonoGame. And uh, why do we, we use it? Um, well, first, it's not Unity. Um, uh, Unity is proprietary software. And um, it's, uh, as it was said, it's a closed box. So when something is not uh, working for you or not working at all, you can't do anything. And uh, it's a problem. And uh, there is a lot of um, uh, libraries for Unity, but because they have an asset store where you can pay for software, uh, it's not as easy to, to get what you need. And 
Also, for some historical reason, we started using the XNA games back in the day I was a student. And Mono game was really easy to transition to open source uh, code. Um, so we wrote a custom game engine on top of Monogame. And because Monogame is uh, non-opinionated, which means uh, it doesn't make everything for you. It just provides functionality, but you don't have to do things in, uh, in its way. So it's really easy to add some um, features on it. Uh, and you don't have to write a full uh, engine. You just need to write what you need, like uh, creation and management of uh, game objects, uh, some uh, input or debugging, and that's it. You can call it an engine. And because there is a lot of uh, open source libraries, uh, it was easy to mix and match and use source code from everywhere. So we were, it was easy to implement things like um, uh, text-based data sets with uh, Lua, uh, parsing assets at, at run times. If you want to try in textures, you don't have to resume and reload the whole game. And we also have um, made a tool for remote data viewing and uh, editing uh, at runtime, which can be seen there. Which is. So this is data for another game, but you can have, um, this is a tool that will interface uh, through network to the game, and you can have feedback on uh, variables, and you can uh, input data, uh, change variables. So it's something really valuable for um, uh, quick iterations and quick game development. And yes, uh, it's some of the technology we use for the game. So Monogame can use both uh, DirectX or OpenGL for graphics, but uh, we targeted the only OpenGL. Uh, we use also OpenAL and uh, OGG Vorbis uh, for the, all the sound. Uh, Lua is used for uh, text assets. And uh, we have a very good uh, physics engine named Farseer which was uh, made for XNA like about 10 years ago and it's still uh, very good. And that's it. Um, and so we are working... Yeah. It's there. Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> that's it. It's good. Uh, any questions? Yes. Well, what kind of distro are you using? Are you using Ubuntu Studio? Because I know it has a lot of creativity tools. Um, it's Linux, so it's Benjamin. Uh, so, uh, yes. Uh, do we use uh, any uh, dist li specific uh, Linux distribution, like uh, Ubuntu Creative Suite? Ubuntu Studio. Ubuntu Studio. Yeah, no, I did use um, yes, Mind, which is based on Ubuntu, and I downloaded the KX Studio packages, uh, which provides more than I need to to do everywhere we did in the game. Uh, but I I think Ubuntu Studio could also match your needs. I tried it uh, back in the time. Uh, and yes, it was pretty cool, but I, I preferred the cakes. It's more um, up to date. No, no, uh, today uh, Ubuntu Studio is, uh, I, I guess, uh, quite a bit uh, outdated on some uh, some of the apps. How long time did it took to develop the game? So, the game started uh, like about five years ago. And then we got work to do, so it was put uh, on the back burner. 
and then uh, yeah, recently uh, we got the time to finish it and give it a proper release. So, but m m most, uh, uh, but everything was done five years ago. Yes. Is there a way to play multiplayer on a single computer, like by using the keyboard? Because I, I miss these times, like twenty years ago, when you got four people in the same keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is: uh, Is there a way to play the game with uh, only the keyboard and the gamepad? And uh, no, we don't. Um, Maybe we should, but the problem with keyboards is you have a limited uh, input. You can press 10 keys at the same time. Right. Um, and we, are, we, we did the game in thinking about all the, they call the coach games, couch games. You just sit on the couch, grab a pad, and, and play. Yes, question? Uh, the question is, uh, because the game uh, was started a long time ago, uh, would we do anything differently? Or I did anything change? Uh, no, I will do exactly the same thing. Uh, Mono game is, um, is still very active, uh, still implementing new platforms, uh, like the PS PS4 support uh, was available during uh, our pause. Um, the community is still there, and um, Monogame is still good. And Unity didn't change much uh, in the meantime. Uh, they have a new shiny renderer, uh, better uh, UI uh, functionality, but I would say that's about it. And um, so uh, I think it's the best way to do to have your end of the code. Is still a uh, Monogame is still a good solution. Um, is there any other good engine other than Unity and Monogame? Yeah. Uh, but it's a tough one. Uh, well, <laughs> if you look on um, on game uh, that are released, like on Steam or anywhere, you see that many, many games use Unity. And um, apart from that, you see people using uh, Game Maker with really good results. And good maker, game, game Maker is interesting because uh, you don't have to, gig, to dig uh, too uh, deep into a code. So if you're not um, a programmer by trade, you can use a Game Maker with good results. And there is many other engines. Uh, I, I can't name them all. I know there will be a, a talk about Godot engine. Uh, there is Love, which is based on UR, which has lots of good feedback. Uh, you, you have other options. Uh, yeah. I think we should stop there. Thank you so much. Thank you.